Well, hello there, beautiful humans, and welcome to Auntie's Adventure Assortment. I have a new permission. It's the cottage next door to ours. So it also was built in the late 1950s or early 1960s, so well within the silver years. And uh, our neighbor has had plenty of uh, visitors over the decades. Their families are known for entertaining. So who knows what might have been dropped on their property. I'm very excited to hunt this. So stick with me and we'll see what I can find. My first signal was this piece of aluminum scrap. Boy, it rang up better than it deserved to. And the water was filling the hole in the sand. I had to work for my scrap. Hopefully I'll find something more interesting than this. Well, here's a keeper. It looks like a dock crib spike. And I'm not far from my neighbor's dock, so that would make sense. <laughs> That's a whole lot of nail. Look at the size of it. Here's a surface find. And I'll take that out of my neighbor's yard. As there's a lot of interference here, there are buried cables. I just found one. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't cut through it. Ooh. You can hear my machine chattering. I've got the sensitivity down to, I think I'll move to a different area. I'm out behind the cottage now, and this is a first for me. It's a, a metal tube for toothpaste or something. It rang up 56, 59, 60, which might be lead. It could very well be a lead tube. It could also be an aluminum tube. I'll clean it up and see if there's any markings left on it. Cool. There it is, my first coin of the hunt, possibly my only coin of the hunt today, although I'll be coming back to my neighbor's property many times over the summer. It looks like a copper penny. And let me just see what the year is. It's hard to see through the viewfinder. That looks like 1973. I will take it. And that will eventually be part of my ensuite bathroom floor <laughs> when I collect enough copper pennies. It'll be nice to have a piece of our neighbor's property in our cottage. This is funny. I just found this wrench stuck here at the base of this tree. It looks really new, so I'm just going to leave it on the picnic table for my neighbor. Right here in the gravel of the parking area, I've found a signal I like. Sixty-six, sixty-seven, repeatable. Sixty-six, sixty-seven, repeatable. I'll bet my lunch this is a Canadian copper penny. And pointer likes it. And pointer still likes it. Oh, it's gravelly here. Of course it is. It's a driveway. Silly entry. Another scoop. Here's another scoop. I hope I don't screw up the clean and grab it. Oh, it's actually not. I'm right on it now. Come on. Come out, come out wherever you are.
It's out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Called it. It's kind of crusty because of the, the gravel. Oh, it is Canadian, I see the leaves. Let's see if I can find a date. 19. Is it 76? Nineteen eighty six. Oh, well, still copper. I'll take it. Good day to you, Mom. I'm just on my way through the little bunch of woods between the two cottages back home, and I come across this signal. And for the life of me, that sounds like an American copper. So I'm going to open it up and see what we've got. That doesn't look like an American copper penny to me. The joke's on me. Welcome back, beautiful humans, to the cleanup, ha ha ha, of my hunt, my first hunt at our neighbor's cottage. I found the uh, worm container just floating in their bay, so I removed that piece of a bottle, a piece of tape, uh, and a battery, uh, nylon wheel from a, I don't know, door or something. Those were all surface. Lots of cans, a bottle cap liner. The foil bottle seal rang up so beautifully. And of course, it's an anti-hunt when you find a bottle seal. Pieces of iron. This looks like a sardine can. This giant thing. I don't know what that is. You tell me. Twists of wire. These were in the beach, so I know he'll be glad to see those gone. Um, pieces of nails and stuff. Little finishing nail, little screw. This is actually a plug from an old, a prong from an old electrical plug. Random pieces of iron. Like I said, can slot, pieces of aluminum offcut, bottle caps, foil, 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 more foil, more foil. This one says Head Start. I think it's headache tablets. This is from a Kinder Surprise. Blah, blah, blah. There's a little lug nut of some kind. A washer, washer, washer. A little grommet with some cloth still in it. What else have I got? A couple of pull tabs. So that was that. More interesting stuff. I showed you that giant dog crib spike and I took it out of my pouch to show my hubby about five minutes ago and now I can't find it. So I have no idea where that went, but that was a keeper for sure. If I could ever find it again, it was at least 10 inches long. This, I don't know what it is. It feels like bark to me. It feels like waterlogged bark, but it gives a signal. So I don't know if there's a little nail in it somewhere I can't see. I don't know. This fabulous piece of aluminum channel, it has so many angles to it. It looks as though it was meant to do something really fabulous, but I have no idea what that might have been. Could it be off a window or something, I wonder? Window channel? Sliding door? As I said, you tell me. This escutcheon and this little hurricane-shaped thing, both were in the same plug together. They're chromed steel. So they can't have been there all that long because you can still see the chrome. And the more fun finds, my very first aluminum tube. I thought it might be a lead tube, but on washing it, I see it has that golden color that aluminum goes. There's no indication of what it might have had in it. Let's just say maybe toothpaste or brill cream. A uh, rifle cartridge. I can't read the caliber on the back. It's pretty corroded. 
It's been down there a while. Actually, I think this was in the water, in the sand on the beach bottom. And I know my neighbor doesn't shoot, so that's either pre when they bought it or it was a friend or sometimes people just come up here to hunt in the fall and don't bother asking permission. And I did find two coins, both copper pennies, both Canadian, 1986 and 1973. The 1986 one doesn't look as good as the 1973. It was in the parking area and it suffered some corrosion from the lime in the gravel. But you can sure tell which side was up and which was down. You can scarcely see the queen on either of them. So I guess they were facing this way and got all the rain and so forth. And the backs look so much cleaner, so much brighter. So two more copper pennies for Penny Queen. <laughs> and thank you for joining me here on my cottage hunt. I didn't clean up any of the rubbish just to show you what I deal with. The inside of my pouch gets so dirty, it's absolutely disgusting. I have to let it dry and then I tip it upside down and give it a good shake. So there you have it, my friends. And here's our view on this April afternoon. And it's warm enough for me to be out here at five o'clock in the evening in a t-shirt. A real blessing, I can tell you. So till I meet you again, here's Auntie waving goodbye and I'll see you soon. I found the spike. I had dropped it and it looked exactly like all the sticks on the lawn of the cottage. But look, it's, it's eight inches long. The other thing I found a couple of weeks ago on our property was this brass or copper frame, which hubby says was a license plate frame. Uh, yeah, okay, fair enough, but I think it's kind of small. It too is about eight inches. Eight by five, maybe. If it is a license plate frame, it's for a small license plate for a trailer or a boat or something. But it's so cool, isn't it? Look, it's got that old sort of um, Art Deco 1930s look about it. And nowadays, such a thing would not be made out of copper. There's one of the little clips that you would have slid. <laughs> awkward that you would have slid whatever it is into and there's a space here on the back where the other one would have been and the screw holes I didn't break it but if I try to straighten it anymore this split which was there when I dug it is going to get even worse and it's all folded over here so it's sad but it's also very cool. And there is the dark crib spike. So once more, thanks for joining me. And here's Auntie waving goodbye. Toodaloo!